Lintner Dordrop Pathway (ED Pathway). ED Pathway is an alternative pathway that catabolizes glucose to pyruvate using a set of enzymes, which are different from that of the glycolysis or pentose phosphate pathway. In this pathway, it was first reported by Michael Dordrop and Nathan Entner, which occur in the prokaryote, mostly in the gram-negative bacteria such as Pseudomonas. Azotobacteria and Rhizobium. It was first discovered in 1952, and McGee Dodroff 1954 first reported that the ED pathway in the bacterium Pseudomonas alternative of EMP pathway. The ATP required in the EMP pathway is more as compared to that of the here what happens, the glucose is getting converted into glucose phosphate uh, where the ATP is getting converted into ADP that is adenine triphosphate getting, getting converted into adenine diphosphate. We see the enzymes which are used in this pathway. Here the conversion of glucose to glucose 6-phosphate where the enzyme uses hexokinase. If we see the conversion of glucose 6 phosphate to 6 phosphogluconate here the enzyme uses glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase and nadb is getting converted into nadph that is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate will be reduced to nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate hydrogen along with a free hydrogen atom here the conversion of 6-phosphogluconate to 6-phosphogluconic acid in the presence of an enzyme hydrolase that is 6-phosphogluconolactone getting converted into 6-phosphogluconic acid. Then this 6-phosphogluconic acid is getting converted to 2-ketone-3-deoxy-6-phosphogluconate in the presence of enzyme KDPG dehydro dehydratase that is getting in the presence of enzyme 6 phosphogluconate dehydratase. Here a water molecule is also released. After that, the conversion of 2 keto 3 deoxy 6 phosphogluconate to pyruvate and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate is done in the presence of enzyme. KDPG aldolase that is 2 keto 3 deoxy 6 phosphogluconate aldolase. Here, the pyruvate in this ED pathway goes to future motor metabolism process that is the TCA cycle or electron transport change and the glyceraldehyde. 3 phosphate is further converted by entering in the glycolysis pathway by which it goes and get converted into pyruvate for further metabolism where glucose 3 phosphate get converted into 13 bisphosphoglycerate and then this 13 phosphoglycerate is getting converted into 3 phosphoglycerate and 3 phosphoglycerate getting converted into 2 phosphoglycerate and this is converted into phospho in all pyruvate and then finally to the pyruvate the final system substance that molecule of pyruvate and a molecule of atp by means of enzyme pyruvate kinase here the enzyme which is used is the pyruvate kinase kinase and it serves as an additional regulatory step similar to that of that of phosphoglycerate kinase here the cofactor is magnesium 2 plus now we have to note that when glucose is getting converted into glucose 6 phosphate adp is getting converted into adp when glucose 6 phosphate is getting converted into 6 phosphogluconate nadp is getting converted into nadph and then 6 phosphogluconate is getting converted into 2 keto 3 deoxy 6 phosphogluconate in which water molecule is lost when this 2 keto 3 deoxy 6 phosphogluconate getting converted into glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and pyruvate. At that time, the enzyme used is 2 keto 3 deoxy phosphate aldose. 
which forms this pyruvate and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate later is oxidized to pyruvate by glycolytic pathway where two atp are produced by the substrate substrate level phosphorylation this process yield one atp as well as one nadp nadh and one nadph for every glucose molecule this is all about the entner dot drop pathway that is ed pathway